This is the fourth and the final tutorial on line following car. In the previous tutorial, I showed an algorithm for line following. In this particular tutorial, what I'm going to do is replace that path, which I, which was a simple line to a more complex path and essentially use the same algorithm without modifying a single line in the code and show that it actually works in a more complex path. Okay, so after I finish this tutorial, you'll see that the line following robot following the red line, as you can see in the video here. Okay, this is a file which I taken from the previous tutorial. I'll, up I'll upload it in the description so you can download it and start off from here. But when you run this file, you can see that the line following robot follows this simple straight line. So I'm going to delete this path and I'm going to now create a more complex path. Okay, so what I'll do is go to add path and I'm going to say close path and then it creates this circular path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, the control points on this path and modify the path. So if you scroll down and open this path, you see that it consists of a series of control points. So example, control point zero. So then choose that control point, choose translate, and then just move it out. And you can see that as you move it, the path has changed. So I just keep doing that at random. Till I create a complex path. It all looks good. Now what I'm going to do is following. I'm going to click on the sliders, say extrude shape, which becomes blue in color. Uh, I'm going to click on shape, double click, adjust color, and we change the ambient color to red. This looks good. Uh, let's try to move the car and place it on the path. So there's at least one sensor is seeing the path. So I need to select line tracer and then zoom a little bit and move it slightly. Now, when I run this, you see that it's not seeing the red path. So what I but that's because of the height of this. So let's just rotate it. And you can see that this path is actually pretty thick. So I'm going to decrease the height of it by going to shape, modify geometry, and change this to one unit. Two. So I'll run this now, and you can see it's seeing the path. Now, the code here is right here and it was developed as part of the previous tutorial. So you don't need to really change anything. Just play it and uh, you can see it's following the path. I'm gonna change the view so it's, it's uh, better to view it that way. So let's rotate this and zoom out.
Okay, you're all set. So here we can actually play it a little faster. So I'm going to remove the real time. And so it goes a little faster. You could also use this plus to speed it up. And so what you can see now is basically it's simulating it uh, the right way, but then it's just showing you frames instead of showing you uh, a continuous rendering, rendering. Okay, so it takes really it takes a lot of time. So we can actually play with the speeds here. So I'm going to go here and then change this to uh, let's see five and then dv is eight. And then see if that makes it go a little faster. Okay, so it works. And so this is how you do create a line following robot in simulation in Copilessence. 